You know, I actually knew a girl named Vidya from back in the day. I remember she used to cut her hair like every year or so and then sell it to companies that made hair extensions. Up until then, I always thought hair extensions came from horses. Seriously. I'm not that bright. We're going to go with a little more popular one this week. I actually know for a fact that there are a handful of you out there that use this indicator because I see you talk about it in the comments section and on Discord. But that does not mean most people are aware of it. So we're going to bring that awareness to you and run some tests on it. Uh, You guys know how this works by now. If you don't, um, go back to nonsenseforex.com and get yourself started. You have gone too far. If you're unfamiliar with our indicator profile series, go back to the shaft trend index and start from there. But for the rest of us, let's go ahead and move forward. Video was made around 1992. Um, That is outside of the range we hope for. We like to get things 1996 and beyond, but not too far away from that. Now, this is another baseline. We just did a baseline two weeks ago when we're doing another one now. That's pretty close together. Don't expect that in the future, but here we are. Subtype, it's a baseline, guys. It just does what it does. And you can use it as an exit indicator if you want but there are typically better ways to approach that. So before we go to the results that Stonehill Forex was able to put together, just understand, read this, absorb this, feel this. And actually, before we get to the results, let's take a look at this really quick. I mean, it's just a baseline. I just clipped and ripped this from the Stonehill Forex blog, and it's a little busy. (laughs) I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. You guys know what a baseline does by now. If you don't, I will actually link my baseline indicator down below in the description. But you see, when it crosses and closes above, that's a long. When it crosses and closes below, that is a short. Easy stuff. Now on something like this, where it may have traveled too far beyond the baseline to actually be a signal. We don't have the rest of our information handy, so I can't really answer that question for you. But through the indicator tester that we use for these videos on MT4, you can actually enter that information. But just for demonstration purposes, you see how this works. Moving on to the Euro USD. Now, I've told you in the past, be on the lookout for total trades. Once the tweaks come in, you typically see the amount of total trades go down. You will not see that all the time in this video, but you do hear for the Euro USD, and it turns out to be a pretty nice little ROI on the daily for a baseline. To get that out of your baseline alone is pretty good. Moving on to gold, uh, really nice on the one year, but like I said before, the amount of trades you took actually doubled. Now, I mentioned in last week's video, too, there are some of you out there that when it comes to metals, you only trade gold. And when it comes to crypto, you only trade Bitcoin. So you may actually want more trades. But if that's the case, 82 seems pretty high. That is a one trade almost every four and a half days, right about. You know, so just keep these things in mind. And yes, I know there are still some of you out there that only trade the Euro USD and Forex. Huge mistake, as you already know. But I still see people talk about this in the comments section. Oh, it's got the liquidity. It's got electrolytes. I trade 36 Forex pairs. You trade one. Do more. But we've seen gold. Let's move on to Bitcoin now. Pretty positive numbers across the board here. You know, this is what we like to see. And the tweaks really did this one good. Uh, A couple of people were asking last week where the tweaks are. The tweaks are when you go to the blog that I'm going to link down below. They're going to be to the right of all this. It just says settings. It doesn't say tweaks. Uh, But I know not everybody speaks English as a first language. So just so you know, that's where they are. So speaking of that, what we are going to include in the description is the link to my blog, my automation blog, that shows how you can test these things on your own. The Stonehill Forex blog that dives deep into Vidya if you want to know more and shows what those tweaks are and then a place where you can actually go download this. And that is your indicator profile video for this week. Uh, We will keep pushing these out every week, every two weeks at worst. That's the goal at least. Uh, But in the meantime, keep on cranking, keep on building, keep on executing and go get it.